Hello guys and welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can unlock and bypass the software protection of your ZK Teco uh, attendance management software. So, as you can see here, my software is locked with a password. So, I don't know why, which, what is the password and I can't remember it. So, uh, the solution is uh, to find your uh, software database and there you can unlock it so uh, how you can find your database or your software database uh, first you're going to a shortcut of your software and right click on it and open and select open file location this is the software folder under program files here you, you want to find uh, this file ATT2000 this is the default database of your software so here you can open it with uh, of course you need to install uh, Microsoft Access so you can uh, open the, this file and you can go to this table named user info and here you can find all uh, the information about your employees and as well as uh, this admin password or admin information so suppose that we you can't find this file or you can uh, after you open this file and you go to user info you uh, you see that uh, the table as is empty and you can't uh, you can't see anything on it that means uh, it's not the right database so how you can find it uh, first you can check this file here att.dat so uh, in this file as you can see there is no uh, information about uh, the database but here I have another file the same file from another computer so if I'm going to open it uh, I recommend to use not, uh, notepad++ to edit your files so here uh, as you can see there is a line here line number 19 that uh, begins with db connection this line here shows you uh, the information and location of your database file for so here is um, as you can see here the data source is located here okay and you can go uh, on this location and you can find the, the uh, database sometimes uh, when you open the file location and you see the database for a uh, file here uh, that's not uh, that's not the real the real uh, file that's not the real file and uh, sometimes here you and this uh, toolbar you see the compatibility files if you see compatibility files you like these options uh, go ahead and click on it and uh, then you can you can find the real file of your database uh, software and the best way to find the, the real the real database or the current database is uh, that you open the, the software here okay after the this box is shown go ahead and on the startup menu or on startup menu and we launch the command prompt and we type this command cd backslash and then d slash s and here we can enter this information then press enter and wait for the results here as you can see here there is a many files that uh, has the, uh, that have the extension ldb this extension ldb uh, means which the database is open now for these files with numbers the, just uh, ignore them uh, they are not uh, the real files uh, we are looking for another file like this 
ATT 2000 okay that uh, fin uh, that has the extension LDB this is the real database and this is the current database used by by your software after that just uh, click uh, right click on uh, this command prompt and select mark and select this uh, location that means where is uh, this file is located and after you select it just hit enter and just pass here you can pass it and this will open the location of your database as you can see here and here and here you can see the this file here with a, a small lock that means uh, this is the file or the this is the database used by your software so uh, after we locate and we find the real database we're gonna to open it uh, before that we close all the windows if your database is, st is still under program files you can't um, uh, edit it or you can't modify the information inside it so uh, so all you have to do is uh, copy this uh, file to your desktop okay So after that just uh, open this uh, database and go ahead to user info and after that just go to the column uh, there is a column uh, called sec security flags and replace all numbers here with zero okay you replace all the numbers that you uh, found here in this column with zero and go to and save uh, these uh, modifications and close the database after that just go and copy this file and pass it again to uh, this original folder okay here replace it okay and we're gonna to open the uh, software again and as you can see the software is opened without asking in for any password and this is the solution of how you can bypass or you can unlock the software if you lost or forgot uh, your password so that's it i hope you can find this video useful for you and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video if you like it thank you for watching